Hey everyone, Chorus here. Welcome to this video. Um, just a general work in progress video in which we'll be doing some talking about the Sigmarite Mausoleum, uh, which you've seen in the previous video. Now, the, the previous video, I know it was um, uploaded quite recently. Um, the plan is to, to have this video I'm currently shooting uh, to be online uh, one or two weeks after the previous one. But anyway, at this moment of recording, the previous video was shot a month ago um, so I believe if I remember correctly the previous video was just yeah pretty pretty basic stuff on the Sigmarite mausoleum um, just started working on some of the metal fencing uh, so as you can see quite a lot uh, has happened since then uh, so we'll talk into a bit more detail uh, later in the video and then of course there's this uh, strange guy here <laughs> that really fit the rest of the scenery um, yeah, since I've been working so long, since since summer even, uh, I think it's now three, two or three months, almost non-stop working on these this scenery pieces. There's more here on the side, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm still very, very motivated, especially now when I put everything together, I see everything coming together, really, really motivates me to continue, but I just wanted to have a bit of a break here, so I decided to buy one of these. Um, new Primaris Marines which I never really painted uh, before so there's the Primaris uh, Lieutenant and then just looking to the other side I have the uh, Librarian here which is still on the sprue um, so yeah I just wanted to pick these up just for fun just to paint them no, no really uh, what I'm going to do with them maybe sell them or just put them in a display cabinet um, I don't think it's really a start of a new army or something, but anyway, especially uh, gluing these together, assembling these is always very fun. These plastic kits are far superior to any anything other uh, plastic that's out there on the market. Um, so there's the, the librarian which I still need to assemble and then I'm working on the primaris marine like a our primaris lieutenant with the power sword as you can see here uh, so spent quite some time on the armor and it really reminds me why I do not really like to paint uh, space marines um, but yeah it's it's a, quite a bit of work to do the base coating on this guy and then also the the edge highlighting uh, but after that's done the, the bulk of the work is really it's over and then and then the fun part the detailing can start so yeah <clears throat> Quite happy with the with the results so far, but also put put quite a few hours already in this guy. So as you can see, it's now just started working on the gold, um, and mainly yesterday when uh, when I finished uh, when the armor was finished, the first things I did was um, yeah the purity seal, so the, the the purple here on his leg, you can see it, and the hilt of the uh, just the handle of the sword. I mean, also been working on that and uh, the lens. So the helmet and now I'm working on the also some of the black is done already and then I will start working on the on the gold here so just going with a regular space marine uh, ultramarine color scheme here so yeah just a couple of more days and this guy is finished so uh, and then maybe I'll just straight away start with the uh, with the librarian maybe just going for a, a lower quality level here just to go a bit faster than uh, than the other uh, lieutenant so uh, status on the uh, Sigmarite mausoleum so as you can see there are two batches here this uh, piece of pieces of wall solid wall these statues and these uh, two, two sets of two crypts and then there's some uh, some of these bases let's say here on the side um, so basically this everything you see here is finished I varnished everything earlier today this is still unvarnished but apart from that it's uh, the painting is finished now as you can see there's some stuff here on the side let's uh, put some so mainly these are these uh, fences with skulls on them which really cost me a lot of time to do to finish uh, so you can merely see the difference this is simply uh, dry brushed and uh, base coated and all stuff like that but um, the other models you can see there's quite a mo bit more contrast here going on 
let me just get this light a bit. Um, so what I did after this, this is simply base coated and then uh, the stone is all um, dry brushed uh, with lighter grays of course. And then when that is all done and then everything the metallics base coated and then the skulls already base coated and shaded with a, with a brown. What I did after that was just paint null oil, so black wash uh, all over it. Um, and why this is now split into two batches is simply because I ran out of null oil, so I bought some extra last week. So this is now ready to, to continue this project. But anyway, I think it's nice uh, to see the difference in the video here. This, the one on the right without the null oil, how light it is, but also how much more contrast is added by simply by applying this, this wash. And then of course, uh, most striking about these scripts are the roofs, um, the oxide, which I already told about in the last video which is achieved by uh, applying this knee like uh, oxide um, the first time working with this with a short, short shake uh, but yeah in general very happy about this uh, you still need to thin this a bit just add a bit of water uh, from my in my experience uh, so what I basically did to paint this roof is just put some water on there just layer it covered with water entirely just a bit, a bit of water on there, the water is everywhere, spread it around with your brush and then apply this and then yeah just have it uh, while it's drying have a close eye on it that this stuff does not really pull in, in location that you don't want and when that was dry I got to go over it, went over it a second time just with the oxide thinning it a bit and then uh, just applying it as these, uh, these, uh, these straight lines here uh, apart from that, I did some uh, some highlighting on the skulls, uh, especially on these statues. You can see, you can see, um, just with very little effort. So as you can see here on the statue, also did some highlighting on uh, on the skulls and the flowers and the, this foliage, which was pretty okay. Did not really uh, cost that much time, especially the base coating cost a lot of time. Um, but then when that was done, just applying this black wash all over and then again uh, with the oxide here you can see on the on the statue turn out pretty okay uh, and then also some some green washes also on the crypts uh, which you can see here so especially the skulls not really put that much effort in it but from a distance it looks great quite a lot of uh, contrast also there and then of course uh, let's take some uh, some of the other crypts here um, on these uh, gates just put some uh, some skin wash, Vallejo model color, a game color skin wash, which serves as a great rust effect here. And then also apply the brown wash here on the, the more sandy texture here on the on the bases. And yeah, like I said, it really really motivates me to have this project, which is now spanning several months to see it come together and put the scenery here in place. Uh, you can see also some uh, some of these candles here, also a nice detail. Uh, so I really really like uh, having it all come together at this point. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, there's another here, this wall with this this raven on here. It's a pretty cool detail. Also very very basic painting here. Very quick, just two or three layers of highlight, very quick. And uh, especially this one, I think. Uh, shows really well the contrast on the skulls and then some of the green uh, green paint I put on there so simulate some kind of, of moss effect so yeah uh, this one also took quite some work but as you can see it does not really look uh, that good as the other one since it lacks the shading and then the, the highlighting on the skulls and stuff like that so so that's all for this update video hope you liked it please remember there are links in the video description to all of this uh, stuff I show you here in the video I will provide you links to Element Games website where you can buy all this stuff at a discount and at the same time uh, help out the channel so that's all for this video hope you liked it see you in the next video and have a great rest of the day bye